What's up guys, welcome back to a video with your guy Dion Davis, the owner of Global Landscapers. And uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be starting something totally new. Diff I'm gonna be offering and starting something more to my business. I'm gonna actually be um, starting dumpster rentals. Of course, it's not gonna be them taking my dump trailer and pulling it with their truck, because I would never trust that. But obviously, it'll be the traditional uh, dumpster rental where you bring the dump trailer there, you drop it off, they pay you, and then um, obviously, you get paid also by the tonnage too if they go over so for me how i'm going to do it is um they get the first time for free and then every time after that um it's going to be uh 60 bucks every time after it and um for my uh 12 by 6 dump trailer i'm going to be charging 350 for a week's time if they need it for a week's time and um um 60 dollars a preferred ton but for my uh 16 foot uh, dump trailer i'm going to be charging 425 per each per week for that and um obviously 60 yards per 60 dollars per ton after the first ton and uh, i think this is going to be pretty decent so right now i'm actually going over to my first client of me doing this and uh i was a little skeptical on it because i just i don't know i mean i've never left my dump trailer somewhere but uh yeah that's what i'm doing right now so yeah stay tuned i'll show you guys the whole process of it all all right guys so as you can see back there i have my uh six by twelve uh, dump trailer attached to the, the truck and I'm pulling it. We got about a 40 minute drive and uh, I'm gonna be go ahead and drop this off and I think it only take more about a day. It didn't seem like he had a lot of stuff. He said he had a few cabinets, a tub and some tiles, only a little bit of tiles and some drywall. So I mean, I hope this works out for him and he can fit everything in here. But I also gave him the option of coming to get the six or not coming to get, but me dropping off the 16 foot. But he said he only needs this one. So we'll see if it all fits. And um, yeah. But guys, remember when you're doing this business to lock up your stuff, though, because you're going to be putting your, your equipment in a foreign place and you don't know who these people really are. They're just customers at the end of the day. So you're you're tr entrusting them to obviously wash over equipment and not damage it so and not steal it, not let it get stolen. So for me, I'm definitely going to be locking up. I'm going to be putting a tire lock on there and I'm going to be pairing the, um, obviously the regular trailer lock. And uh, that's how I'm gonna pretty much lock my trailer up because it's once you do that, there's not like any way anybody can really move it. First of all, you're gonna have to cut off the, the um the trailer lock, then somehow you're gonna have to figure out figure out how to get the tire lock off. So I think I'm gonna be secure with just those two. And um it makes me feel better in my heart. But uh yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And uh we're heading over to get this done. Alright guys, I forgot to film, but the trailer's dropped. I mean yeah, the dump trailer dropped off and I'm just driving back to the house right now. It's Saturday, so I usually don't work on Saturdays, but it was such a simple, easy thing to do. Just drop it off and, um, you know, make some money. And I got the money right here. I got it in cash. He was asking to pay in a uh, in, uh, card with his credit card, but I don't like to take credit card payments anymore because there's a chance that somebody could actually charge back on you. And I don't got time for that, really. So I much rather take Zelle, cash, check. Um, I don't know. Just anything that is not through debit or credit because people could charge back on that and I can lose money. But yeah, so I mean, I didn't, I forgot the video said me putting it there, but all it is is I put the um, dump trailer inside his driveway. I put the lock on the tire and I put the lock on the actual dump trailer itself. And he said that he's probably actually going to be done in like an hour or two. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back tomorrow because I don't, I don't think I feel like going back tonight. But yeah. And I give him up to a week anyway. So if he wants to use, wants to use the whole week, that's fine too. But uh, yeah, so I'll show you guys once we get there what the load looks like when we get back there either tomorrow or the next day, whenever he wants me to pick it up and uh, show you the profits after I dump his stuff. One day later. This is it right here. It's a nice little residential neighborhood that I dropped it off to. This is this guy's investment property. I don't want to show his address or anything, but yeah. So, yeah. All right, just taking a video to show what the trailer looks like. It's pretty full. It has a good amount of stuff in there. Nothing out of the ordinary. I'm probably going to throw some straps on there so nothing flies out. But, uh, yeah, just a video for reference. And also to show you guys what the, video, what the trailer looks like right now. Nothing out of the ordinary, though. There's some, definitely some heavy stuff in there. Some tiles, some drywall, wood. Got, like, some old tub in there. Yeah, so pick up the this trailer and take it with me all right guys just to show you guys a reference but right there you see i got the uh tire lock on there um i made sure i locked my box of course and i had this trailer lock on there so just to double safety this is what i was speaking about earlier in the video 
But, I mean, I'm, this is a nice neighborhood. I don't think he was going to steal it or anything, but, like, he's better safe than sorry. Like, who knows? Somebody might be driving by, and they might see an opportunity. And, you know, it's easy if you have a truck just to back up and take somebody's trailer. So, yeah. Got him all hooked up, and we're ready to go. So what I did instead of strapping it, I'll just put these right here. And everything else should be fine. It's not going to fly anywhere, I don't think. Wood's not going to just fly out of nowhere. And this stuff's heavy. It's all heavy stuff. That should be good. Yeah. This stuff be heavy enough. Yeah. Good to go. All right, guys. So I'm taking the, the trailer over. It's actually been a few days. But um, I'm taking it over to see how much it weighs. I'm sure it's under um, a ton. But we'll just see in 14 minutes, that's when I'm gonna get there. And uh, that's what we're doing. So let's see what it is. Obviously, if it's under a ton, then uh, whatever that, that price is, the, the chef check, check that for 350 and you get that number. I mean, obviously you have to also incorporate gas in there too because it does take gas to get to a person's house and uh, pick up your dump trailer, then take it to the, the um, dump. So that, that definitely is included in there. I'm gonna do all the numbers once it's all over with and see how much profit I made off of me right now my dump trailer. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned with me. We're almost to the dump and we'll see. That's my little. We out to, I only get the 150 today. I'm out of here. As you can see right here, it says I'm um, 10,700 pounds. You guys can see that, five and a half, uh, 5.38 tons. And uh, let's see where we're at when we weighing out at that price. Over here at this dump, I'm paying 32.8 per ton. And this is just miscellaneous, regular trash and junk. So yeah, let's see when we get to the bottom of the hill. It's bumpy. All right, as you guys can see, it was 1.17 tons, which is not crazy. Instead of paying 32.80, I paid it. I paid 38.38, which is not a bad number. Um, it's still great profit. Um, I'm gonna try to call the customer and uh, tell them what the sitch is, but I'm just I'm, I'm gonna decide if I even want to charge them for that because uh, now nah, I'm definitely gonna charge them for it. Let me. Who am I kidding? <laughs> this is a business. Ain't no charity. So yeah, I'm gonna call the customer up and I'm gonna tell him uh, he owes me another 60. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's what that's what you gotta do. So it's, if it's anything over that first ton or however you wanna do it, or even anything over that second ton, even if it's one pound over, you gotta charge that customer whatever that fee is for that well, at one pound over, or, you know, that going over that, that first ton or second ton, whatever you wanna do for your own business. But yeah, I'm, try I'm calling them up. I don't care, <laughs> get my money. All right, guys, so that's pretty much going to wrap up the video for today. This actually is a pretty decent high side hustle. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I mean, I made great profit for it. I'm, I was a little surprised because I was a little skeptical on it because at this point of me starting this, I actually didn't even do a contract and it was kind of risky, but I mean, it worked out because the client was very easy going and he paid me with no questions asked. But yeah, so I'm going to continue to do this because um, it's just a little add on I can do to my excavation business, to, you know, add on some extra income, you know. If I'm not using one of the dump trailers, I put it and rent it out to somebody else. Use the other one for my excavation business because I can't run two dump trailers at the same time. So it almost makes sense for me to do this, you know, instead of just having it sit in my driveway. It doesn't make it's not making me any money if it's sitting in my driveway. So this is something I definitely will be doing in the future for sure. And um, yeah, so if you guys are thinking about trying to do this or um, you want to see more videos like this, I'll continue to make videos like this. But uh, let me know down in the comment section if you guys are thinking about doing it um yeah but with that being said go ahead and like subscribe show your guys some love also don't forget to keep jesus christ in your life turn your life to god read your bible repent of your sins and just i don't know just try to you know get that relationship with god because that's what really matters in life i mean all this stuff that i talk about is great enough for your your life but like you got to think of the bigger picture man because that's what's really important so i don't know I, I try to convey this to you guys, but it's just hard for me to kind of say it sometimes. But like, this is how I truly feel. I want you guys to also feel how I'm feeling, see how I'm seeing, and just feel the presence of God and Jesus Christ in your life because it really does change your life and it makes you in a different light. It makes you more positive and, you know, 
I don't know how to explain it. I mean, but get in your Bible and you'll see what I'm talking about. And also, they spell Google Landscapers wrong if you guys haven't noticed. Craziness. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay blessed out there and keep hustling, man.